Hey, what's going on? This is Chief Rocket TV, where music, fashion, and politics collide, and we're on the HHB Media, the network. I'm your host, my name is Q Nice. On this edition of Chief Rocket TV, we're gonna take you to something called Face of Spoiled Fashion Show. We're gonna go to that, take you to the live and direct action with our young people. Check this out. I'm standing here with the beautiful Cece. So how are you doing today? I, I'm less stressed, but I'm doing awesome. Awesome, so how do you feel about your event today? I feel it went extremely well, and again, all I am trying to do is give back. So I gave to some amazing kids, I gave amazing prices, I got them to feel good about themselves, which is amazing as far as I'm concerned. And they're happy. I'm happy. You happy? No, I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> so when is your next event? What are you, you going to be doing now? Well, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to try to do this as an, and this was my first annual one, so it's the first one. So I, I hope to keep building, get more celebrities involved, more people involved, and then participating and being able to give back to my community. Um, on Wednesday, we'll be on KCAL. Some of the footage from this particular show will be on. On August 1st, I'll be on the Chris Jenner show to also do, I'll bring out six kids to do a fashion. So I'm building. So I'm here with the lovely Karen Ward-Ross. Nice to meet you. How are you today? Very well, thank you. Alrighty, so what exactly do you do? I'm an actress and I'm also a producer. Really? Interesting. What are you working on right now? I have a feature film called The Affair that I'm producing with my husband, director Craig Ross Jr. And uh, we're shooting it entirely on the iPhone. So it's the iPhone 5 movie. How awesome. That's different. Uh, There's actually a teaser of it on my website, which is KarenWardRoss.com. And that's Karen with a C, C-A-R-Y-N. All right, Gino, and how are you doing today? I am doing wonderful. Standing beside you, how could I be doing bad? Oh, that's nice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So what is it that you're working on right now? Well, I'm working on a few things, uh, some projects for Cinemax. Um, I'm working at the Spoiled uh, Fashion Show right now. CC has got me working hard. Yeah, I'm going to be doing the hosting along with Ryan, Och Ryan Ochoa. Uh, he was one of my co-stars on Pair of Kings, so yeah, we're excited to be here in support of uh, Cece. I'm Ariana Sloan. Nice to meet you. So what is it that you do? I am an actress, singer, dancer, and recording artist. And yeah, <laughs> I've been doing it all since I was about eight years old. And I'm turning 17 soon, so yeah. <laughs> wow, so you're like a quadruple threat. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. What are you working on right now? I'm actually in the middle of filming my music video. Um, I just did green screen, actually. And yeah, right now we're looking for a cute guy to be in it. So yeah, and um, we're just doing little scenes around the streets. And um, I'm rehearsing with my dancers for it right now. So that's what's new with me. So I'm standing here with the lovely Tara Nicole Zarian. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm doing wonderful. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. I love your energy. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. So what is it that you do? Well, I'm an actress and a filmmaker. I've written and directed five short films. I've been to over 90 film festivals. And one of my films, Cardboard, has actually won two Telly Awards. So I'm here with Amber Barbell. How are you today? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you for asking. So what is it that you do? Well, I'm an actress, singer, and model. I'm getting into dancing, but so so lately I've been like auditioning a lot, and I have a table read later for something I don't know if I can talk about, but everything's been going great, and it's more experiencing and getting out there. So, so I'm standing here with the very, very adorable Jessica Belkin. And how are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. So what is it that you do? I'm a singer and an actress. Really? Yeah. What, what do you sing? What kind of music? Pop rock. Yeah. Cool beans. So what are you working on right now? Um, well, I'm actually being in the recording studio a lot lately. And um, I'm doing, I'm re-recording my two old songs, originals. And um, then I'm going to do another album. So yeah. 
All right, so I'm here with the lovely Haley Elizabeth Grip. Hi, Haley. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thanks. So I heard through the grapevine that you're going to spit a little rhyme for us. Yeah, just a little bit. Mostly I act, but uh, I rap as I'm a bit of a goofball, so I kind of do it for fun. Whenever you're ready. Okay. My head is pounding like a basketball on the floor. It's a standing that they call me the girl next door. The fire is a hot one, I feel the flame. I guess this is a rap, it's just not the same. Cause I write songs, don't wear no bling. Uh, because mama said I can't sing. Wow, you now you know I love a good fashion show. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Shouts out to all of them doing their thing. Now we got something else that's coming up for you. We have a new young hot young man who is doing his thing. His name is Andre Mew, and he has a release party, he's got a CD, he's got an album, he's got product, and he's doing his thing. Very special, very gifted cat, and he can also play the piano. Boy, is bad. So we're gonna go to that exclusive interview right now. So don't go anywhere, check this out. All right, Q Nice here with my man Andre, who is doing big things right about now. Just came from a sound check because he has a show that's going to be coming up a little bit later on tonight. Andre, how you doing tonight? Looking very snazzy in the suit and tie. I like that. Oh, likewise, Q. Likewise. And thank you. Thank you for having me. No problem. Thank you for having us here. We're in a very unique spot because we're in uh, a restaurant right now, which is a very exclusive restaurant. They do a lot of commercials here, a lot of movies here, and uh, the vibe is very open here. But I want to know about how you got started and how this all began for you. This all began by starting on the piano. I started on the piano. It kind of evolved into R&B, and then it turned into something great. <laughs> turned into a major blessing, so I'm happy. Did you always know that, uh, how did you get involved in piano? Did you always want to play piano? Did you know that you, you had that special something inside of you? Well, my family was uh, very musically oriented. So, uh, uh, you know, my sister did it, my mother did it, my father did it. So I had to be the You had to do it. Yeah, I had to take it on. So, um, through your trials, you know, of, of doing the music, um, tell me about, like, your low points. What, you know, because that's something that a lot of artists don't talk about. You know, you hear about the artists who may come out to uh, California with $2.30, and next thing you know, they just kind of blow up. But what are some of those trials and tribulations that you personally went through? Uh, can you share some of your struggles with us? Oh, man, I mean, there's so many struggles. I mean, it's a struggle every day, to be honest with you. But, um, I mean, if we have to be politically correct, then um, I would probably say um, it's just trying to hone in on your craft. I think one of the biggest people that have $2.50 in their pocket that come out here, um, it's not about how much money you have. It's about how much you hone in on your craft and how much you perfect it. And when you come to L.A., when you come to the West Coast, there's going to be a lot of competition, as there is in a lot of other places. But L.A. is just one of those places. <laughs> What's been a, a big learning point for you? What a, You've walked away from, you know, having something happen or you've seen something and you say, wow, I really learned something from that. What has been one of those points or one of those lessons learned? Oh, man, I think um, my father off my new album called All I Really Want, my father uh, had passed away while I was working on it. So that was a life lesson and y you know, you start to learn about just life experiences and that helps you so much as a writer, so much as a human being. So that way you can learn so much just about life in general. Uh, are there any songs or is, they, is there a song on your album that's dedicated to your father? Yeah, there's two. Uh, one of them is Freedom. It's co-written by uh, Taj Jackson and myself, um, and it was produced by Omen. And another one was One Soul, and it's uh, me, Andre Mew, as well as featuring Helen. And I, I produced it myself, so there's two records that I had to represent. Do you have a favor between those two? If you had to pick one of those, which one would you pick? Oh, i definitely pick One Soul. <laughs> one Soul. And why is that? Uh, cause I wrote it like that was a hundred percent from the heart. Like, so there was no other person involved, you know, other than I was singing it. You know. Some of the places that you've been, uh, you've, you've been on tour, you've done a lot of different shows. Um, where are some of the places that you have been and where are you going next? Well, one of the biggest places I've been was the UK. 
We did a tour with uh, with Boys to Men. Man, it was great. We had a great time. We did a tour of Boys to Men with Genuine, SWV, Drew Hill. It was just, it was fun. It, now, as far as like with your fans, really quickly, what kind of feeling? Because for all artists, you know, who are performing, it's always different when it comes to their fans and how they connect with your fans. How do you connect with your fans? By giving them real life experiences, you know, I think that this album was probably the most realest album that I've ever done in my life, you know, just because everything that we did was solely from the heart. And I think that that's important as an artist. I think that that's important as a writer, producer, because when you're making things from your heart, all you can do is just tell your story. So for your fans that are out there, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, website, what do you have for them? Oh, man, first and foremost, my Instagram, it's my name, Andre Mew. If you don't know how to spell it, it's A-N-D-R-E-M-I-E-U-X. And if you want to hit me on my Twitter, it's who is underscore A-M-X. And my Facebook is who is A-M-X. And my website is who is A-M-X dot com. Andre Mew, we thank you so much for your time. Continue success, man. Thank you for having me. That's another edition of Chief Rocket TV, where music, fashion, and politics collide right here on the HHB Media, the network. Make sure that you go to our website at hhbmedia.com and look at all of the other exclusive interviews and also the photos that are there. That's going to do it for us. My name is Q Nice. And remember, as always, shoot for your dreams, shoot for the stars, and I'll see you around the world. Every time I